Slowly but surely, I want to make babies with all of your sibs. <laughs> What's up everybody, I'm Kelsey and I thought it would be funny if I tried the 100 infant speed run. It's kind of like the 100 baby challenge with some loosey goosey adjustments to the rules. Last time I seduced Link from the Legend of Zelda. Hey yeah! I'm so excited to seduce more of your sims in this episode and I'm a little stressed about how many children are in the house. In my brain, I thought this is such a good idea to have no limit to how many kids I can have in the house because that was normally what took the most time was like aging kids out. The problem is now I just have a lot of sims that I take care of all the time. So hopefully we get a lot of kids out of the house today. Also, bonjour, I'm back from France as of you're watching this right now. So if you didn't get to check out any of my TikToks or Instagram posts about my trip. Go ahead and check those out on my channels using at Healthy Dangerous across all platforms. I can't wait to share all my adventures with you guys. Anyway, on to the video. We're gonna tune in with Chelsea, who I believe is still at the hospital. Amelia and Jonathan can be aged up right now, and Morgan and Mason are close. Yeah, let's go home, Chelsea. We're back at the house. Chelsea's looking rough, but we've got Amelia here. Amelia, it's been so fun. I love your slippers, by the way. You are such a sweet baby angel. I'm gonna miss you so, so much, but it is time for you to move. The move sim is right next to the kill sim in the mods, and it freaks me out every time, but I have not clicked kill sim yet, so it's good. Okay, move into new household. Fabulous, okay, she's out. Jonathan, my magical bean, son of Santa. I remember when you were a baby, you had the cutest little glasses, and then I completely forgot to give you glasses in any other moment of your life. Maybe he just got LASIK. Really, really young. All right, we're gonna move him into a household with Amelia. Perfect, okay, so now we're at kind of a more reasonable amount. This little guy is playing chess here. Nice. Nice. Getting your logic skill up, we love to see it. Meanwhile, Roy, I thought Roy had all of his stuff done, but he actually does not. So why don't you go play inside of that? Rebecca, on the other hand, has almost done. She just needs some potty training. Sasha, my sweet baby angel, do you have any needs? No, great. Why don't you go chat with the teddy bear? Sienna, why don't you stack the blocks? And Lucas, well, Lucas has three fine motor, just needs one more gross motor. I think Sienna and Sasha and Lucas are actually up triplets and Huey and Louie are twins. Oh, it's time to go to school for the kids. I did not realize, but I only have two teens and the rest of these kids are under the age. Oh my God, and the babies are downstairs. I should not have let go my adult Sims at all. I should not have done that. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Chelsea's fine. Chelsea has perfect needs. Oh God, that's trash. Well, we can't age anyone up with that cake. Okay, babies are fine. Huey, why is Huey downstairs? Come here, Huey. It's fine, I got you, Huey. Okay, let's put Huey. Huey to bed. Louie is asleep, so Louie, you're doing amazing. Lucas needs some tummy time. Are you guys not going to school? Why are you guys not in school? You're an hour late. Go to school. Oh my God, they're not going to school. Can I like click on them and have them go to school? Go to high school. They're going to school. Great. We're gonna play with Lucas. Why is Huey right there? Huey could be in bed. Rebecca needs sleep. Rebecca, why don't you go to bed? Roy needs a bath. Roy, could you ask your sister Amelia to help you with the bath? there. All right, now let's do tummy time. How are you doing, Sasha? Sasha needs some fun. Go play with Sienna outside. Lucas is getting... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Lucas sounds like he's being murdered, but he's fine. Oh, Roy loves water. I love that for you, Roy. Why don't you get her to help you go potty? Amelia, please help me go potty. I love you. Thank goodness Amelia's still here. Roy's like, can I go potty? And she's like, oh yeah, I'll take you. No worries. And then he just stumbles his way over there in his little yellow boots. So cute. Okay, Lucas, how you doing, sweet thing? Oh, he did it, he did it. I know he's tired, but like maybe just one more time, Lucas, you could like do some more tummy time. We'll just speed run this, you know? Sasha's playing while her sister's sleeping. So cute. And Roy reached potty level two. Good job, Roy. He's getting there. We just need him to potty his little brains out. Huey needs some 
food. Rebecca's going out to play. Roy is just gonna keep going potty. Chelsea is helping Huey, I think. Here we go. Huey's a self-soother and Sienna has a good appetite. Good job, girls. Rebecca's gonna go and have some fun in there. Chelsea's Aww. taking care of Huey. Huey is doing great, feeling nice. Chelsea, why don't you put Huey down? Ah! Fatia Colette thinks Chelsea and Peter Shabay as well as wants to be best friends. Of course, Fatia. I don't quite know who you are, but so fun. Huey, are you playing with the toys? Perfect. And Roy is just using the toilet like there's no tomorrow. We love to see it, Roy. We love the hustle. Rebecca's imagination skill has gone up and so is her fun. Good job, Rebecca. Oh, she's scared to sleep. Okay, why don't you take a nap outside? Sasha needs to go to bed. Sasha, why don't you go to bed in here? Louie, oh, is hungry. Louie's like, mother, I have needs. And Chelsea, luckily, is helping. Oh, and he loves being held. Louie looks like a little spooky, but in a cute way. Good job, Louie. Sienna needs to use the toilet, but honestly, Sienna, we only have one potty right now. So I guess I could get another one. Maybe it's good to have a second potty, you know? That way our kids can sit next to each other while they try. All right, she's cleaning Louie up. Louie seems happy as a clam. All right, Chelsea, why don't you... Oh no, another baby is crying. All right, we need to take care of this baby. And then I think we're gonna try to potty train Sienna. Poor Roy is like hungry, just not doing well. Rebecca's sleeping, doing fine. Sienna just went potty on her own. What does she need? Can we like teach her to talk? Yeah, mom's gonna teach you to talk. I think that's a perfect thing. Get you up to level three with your talking. Mason's grades are up and so are Morgan. One of them swiped an object. Morgan did. Wow, Morgan. He stole a poster. We love it. Why don't you guys actually serve some food since we need some help doing that? Mason, why don't you watch TV? It's okay, kids. You're gonna be fine. You don't have to go to school after today. All right, come get some ceviche. Be happy. Sienna's like, I need to go to bed. Mother, I require sleep. But she's almost, I think, to level three of conversation. See, Morgan's now vibing. He's like, I'm having a good time. Let's cook a cake. Wouldn't that be fun? Let's get a chocolate cake in here. Rebecca's chilling. She's feeling happy because she is trusting the universe. Aw. Oh my God. I forgot the sound of a baby crying, but Chelsea's already on top of it. Good job, Chelsea. Yes, he's leveled up the potty skill. Okay, which one of you finished the cake? Neither of you did the cake. Did you even put it in here? No. Oh, we do have a cake. It is the most disgusting cake I've ever seen, but it's a cake. Great. You know what? None of you have to eat it anyway. Let's help blow out candles for Roy using the toilet nonstop for what seems like hours. And now Roy is officially a big boy. And now he can probably play soccer and live his dreams. So I love that for him. All right, now it's your turn, buddy. You can blow out candles. It's okay. Chelsea's celebrating. Roy is an art lover and pick a number one through five. Four. A social butterfly. A social butterfly art lover. I love it. Good job, King. And Mason is an overachieving, self-absorbed green fiend. Pick a number one through 15. Seven. it. Okay. Pick a number one through two. He wants to be fabulously wealthy. I mean, that makes sense that he's an overachiever and self-absorbed, but maybe he wants to be fabulously wealthy by helping the earth. And I can't blame him for that. Good job, Mason. And then Morgan, if you want to come over and blow out your own candles, that would be great. Look at Roy! Look at my dignified little bee. Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, my little Beano. And Rebecca's getting close with her potty skills as well. You got this, Rebecca. Oh, she's mad. Oh, it's okay. Lucas is hungry. Mother, I hunger. Morgan is unflirty. Kleptomaniac. Creative. Nice. Pick a number one through 15. One. Okay, and he's an animal lover. He doesn't like people. He likes animals. You know, good for you, buddy. I love it. Which baby is upset? The one on the left seems like it's constantly upset set over some reason. Brody. Go take care of Brody for me, okay? Lucas is getting fed. Perfect. Ooh, Luna is also upset. Could you come feed Luna, please? Thank you. Chelsea, don't worry. You don't have to take care of the babies. You have two twin boys for that, okay? Chelsea, now you can tummy time with Lucas. Try to get him aged up. He needs to be a toddler with his sisters. Rebecca's so close, and yet so far she's absolutely gonna pass out before she gets aged up. But, you know, it's it's gonna be okay. Oh, what a good big brother I caught, Mason.
Jason just I singing to the baby and cuddling? I just asked him to feed the baby. He's giving that extra special love and support. Who knew that he wants to be a wealthy, but he's also a little softy. Oh, girl is throwing a temper tantrum. But you're so close to being potty level three, queen. Oh, it's water shut off day. Can she not go potty with water shut off day? Oh, she's passing out. All right, maybe I'm a bad mom. I made my toddler potty until she passed out. But I just like to think of it as like, I care about her pr pr progress. That's how I like to think of it. Oh my gosh, Lucas is getting a new motor skill, I think. He's going through a change. Yes, he rolled over to his tummy. Good job, Lucas. That means that you get to age up. Oh my gosh, so many aging ups. The triplets will be reunited once more. Reunited and it is with Lucas. Oh my gosh, I haven't even gotten pregnant yet. Okay, let's really quickly age up Lucas. Mason, why don't you quickly, quickly, quickly age up Lucas for me, please? And Chelsea will call over Leon Kennedy. Okay, Mason, let's go, let's go. Leon is we right over, there he is! There he is, the man of the hour. Let's sweet talk him. She's very charming. The twins are aging up. Okay, Lucas is wild. Okay, a wild child. Wow, and he is also witnessing a crass act. He does not like seeing his mom flirt. I don't think any of the kids like seeing mom flirt, but it is what it is, okay? Chelsea, go kiss him until he wants to woohoo. That's right, Chelsea. Oh yeah, okay, woohoo is an option. Let's try for a baby maybe in the shower. That way we have some privacy. Oh goodness, Huey's had a big old stink and Louie is also stink. So Huey and Louie need a bit of help. Mason, after you're done, do you mind? Oh my gosh, which one's hungrier, Huey or Louie? Louie, okay, do you mind feeding my child while I you know, make magic happen in the bedroom? There's no evil here, but you can make a new resident with me. Good job. Uh, my queen. Let's go take a little pregnancy test. She's eating for two. Okay, perfect. We don't need to tell Leon. He's fine. You can go. What a cutie this man is. I mean, we kind of want to keep you around. Okay, Huey's very sad. Huey's like, sir, can I have food too? Please, sir. Oh my God. Stop yelling at my kids for being sticky. It's not their fault. I'm doing my best out here, okay? I'm just one woman. I don't even have enough time to eat ceviche. Leave me alone. My Son is handling it the best he can, okay? Huey's doing his best. Chelsea's just eating a ceviche in peace at 1 a.m. in her cold weather outfit, which is not a look, girl. I gotta, I gotta change this, I'm sorry. I mean, I love an oversized sweater. Ooh, this one's cute. Let's do the black puffer over white tank. This definitely looks like something I don't. Let's go joggers. She's a mom, you know? Like, she's a cute mom. She deserves to wear cute things, but also one of those cute things is athleisure. Oh my God. Mason is sick. Why don't you go to sleep, okay? Sweet baby angel. Morgan went to bed in the other room. Mom is cleaning up. Louie is up. Louie needs a bath. Chelsea's on her way. Go, Chelsea, go. Go, Kylie, go. Good job, Kylie. You're doing amazing, sweetie. All right, let's just take care of these baby, okay? Let's really quickly change the diaper. I know you're stinky, sweetie. I'm gonna take care of it, okay? There you go. And then let's put Huey to sleep. Leon's like, I should get going. This place is crazy. All right, and now let's put Louie to sleep over here. All right, go take a little shower, Chels. You deserve a queen. Okay, almost all the kids are chilling. The triplets are the toddlers. The twins are infants. The newborns are newborning. Morgan, how are you doing, my son? Why don't you watch TV? Yeah, be on your phone. Have a good time. Oh, Sasha's up. Sasha's gonna go get food. Great. Part of me thinks I should get them like a video game system for downstairs and maybe a better TV, honestly. This TV is terrible. Let's get them upgrade. It's okay for the downstairs basement. They deserve it. Yeah, put on that one. And then we'll get like a nice gaming system. There you go. It might not be state of the art, but you can play a video game. That might be very fun for you downstairs. Have some relaxing time. There he goes. This fun's going up. Maybe I should put like a microwave on top of this. Part of me also feels like we really do need somewhere to sit. I don't know if I want this piano anymore. I haven't decided, but it's fine. I'll keep it for now. And then we have like a little area for kind of a 
dining experience, you know? Put this over here, put a couple chairs around it, have a good time. Yeah, they could have like a nice little dining area for the kids down here. I don't love this downstairs area, but I like what's all in it. So at some point I will kind of just maybe fix it up, but right now is not the time. Oh no, Mason, Mason! He's taking a shower first, okay. The babies are doing okay. Lucas is a light sleeper. Oh no, Lucas, how did you wake up from that? Go back to sleep, please. Sasha, did you eat? She did, good job, Sasha. How about you, Mason? Did you eat? Oh my God, he got the microwave wheel and still brought it upstairs. I don't know what else to do to make it more appealing to sit downstairs for these kids, whatever. Also, he doesn't even last in like not very long and he doesn't have any sleep, what the heck? Chelsea's also running on it. Why is nobody sleeping? I thought I put you all to sleep. Oh God, it's harvest fest. That means my boys aren't actually going to school today. Oh gosh. Actually, they wouldn't have gone to school anyway, they're adults. I forgot. So the only people that we actually really want to go to school are Roy and Rebecca, which Rebecca hasn't even aged up yet. I keep forgetting. Rebecca, what do you need? Potty, she just needed to go potty. Get your butt up, Rebecca, and finish your potty, okay? Chelsea, why don't you just go to sleep, please, and thank you. Mason, oh my goodness. Can you help with the girls? Sasha just needs attention and some hygiene. So why don't you give a bath to Sasha? And Sienna is like playing. So she She's fine. Oh God, okay, you need fed. Chelsea, come here, come feed this baby. Ooh, Rebecca reached level three of body. Good job, Rebecca, four for you, Rebecca. You go, Rebecca. It's your turn to age up. So excited for you. You're gonna have so much fun as a kid. And you're gonna have such a fun harvest fest. Just ignore how gross the cake is, all right, honey? You're not gonna eat it anyway. Okay, we got a birthday girl, it's Rebecca. And she's gloomy. Oh. And pick a number one through five. One, okay, she's an artistic prodigy. Fantastic. And okay, Rebecca is aged up. Good job, Rebecca. She's so sad and she's very hungry. All right, girly girl. Why don't you grab a serving, okay? Chelsea, what are you doing out here? Girl, go to sleep. Your adult son can take care of it, all right? Mason's on it. Louis seems better. Huey is trying to go night-night, perfect. Lucas is having some food, so that's great. All of them are attention starved. Sienna, why don't you like say some nonsense and stuff. Mason, why don't you take like a nap or something? Oh God, Chelsea's having to take care of these babies. Oh my gosh, children. Oh my God, there's so much going on. Go to sleep, sweetie. I know it's loud. I'm sorry, but I do think your sleep will be best in this room. Chelsea, go to sleep too. Rebecca, actually, you can go take a little shower. How's Sasha? Sasha just needs attention. Why don't you like, you know, hang out with your big brother? Sienna, how are you doing? Okay, she's really good at communication. She She's almost there with imagination. Why don't you go play? Okay, everybody seems to be okay-ish. Oh, Roy has a question. I've been trying to do my homework for school, but the last few assignments felt really, really hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough to do it. What do you think? I don't normally have them have three of them in a row, so we're gonna try to raise empathy. Okay, Morgan's doing great. Chelsea's getting herself food. Louie is learning skills. Sienna loves the food, and so does Sasha. Rebecca doesn't care about any of it, but her her brother does, so why don't you appease this moat with a toy? He doesn't care about the gnomes. He doesn't care about the gnomes. Chelsea does love the gnomes, so why don't you appease this gnome with a toy? I'm doing my best to have them have a good Harvest Fest, but I'll also like not really doing much for Harvest Fest. Roy is happy. He's like, wow, that was so cool interacting with a gnome. Oh, so sweet. And Chelsea's very proud too. All right, Sienna, it's time for you to be potty trained. Sasha also needs potty training. Let's get you potty trained as well, girl. We got two potty trainings happening simultaneously. Oh, and look who came back for Thanksgiving. It's Cecilia. Love to see it. Why don't you go to sleep, Chels? Oh my goodness, Huey just fully sat up. Okay, Mason, I need you to take care of Huey right now because I think Huey's hungry. So why don't you go bottle feed Huey? Take care of some of Huey's needs. Sienna, you can go to sleep. Sasha also kind of needs to go to sleep, to be honest. All right, Mason, can you put Huey in the little spot, please, and do some tummy time? There you go. Huey and Mason just became good friends. Oh, Mason, it seems like you have some needs. Go take care of them. Oh my gosh, look who's here. It's Rosalie. Chelsea, go invite her in. 
She's got a special gift because their neighbors stop it. That is so cute. Oh, nope. Chelsea's got to go. She's got babies who are calling her name. Louie also is pretty miserable. Go give Louie a bubble bath, please. Lucas is outside walking around, taking himself on his own little stroll here. But I mean, that's good. I mean, he's working on his movement skill, so I'm not mad. And Chelsea, how are you doing, girl? She's doing her most. Oh my gosh, we have another sim here. Oh my God, it's Judith. It's a famous woman. Morgan's squeamish. I love it. Morgan's like, I hate these dirty diapers. It is literally the worst experience of my life. Judith Ward, who is now married and is Judith Volkov, a global superstar, has arrived at the house, pregnant, trying to do her own baby challenge. Let's, I guess, ask for an autograph. I mean, we don't really need an autograph. We are also kind of a famous author. Maybe you've heard of me, Chelsea and Peter Schmay. But you did come to my house for a holiday, so... Oh, what's happening? Oh my God, that scared the crap out of me. I literally thought Morgan was gonna die, but no, he just became squeamish. Finally, finally, Rosalie's giving that gift that she's been saying she's gonna give for a while. And she's like, I wanna hang out for a bit. We got a postcard from Twinbrook. Wow, Rosalie, is that where you went on your world tour? Being a little famous queen. Ooh, Louie got a roast motor skill. Good job, Louie. And good job, Mason, for helping out. Oh my gosh, we got a vampire visiting again. Listen, Caleb, I'll consider it, but not right now. I'm asleep. Meanwhile, Mason doing some tummy time with Huey. Or are you not? What are you doing? My dude, my bro, you doing that tummy time I asked you for or no? Don't know why you're up. Huey is getting tummy time on the front porch in front of a vampire. Are you not concerned for the baby's safety? Do you not realize who this man is? I know his back is to you, but come on. I mean, look at that jacket. Only vampires can have that bad of taste. Clearly, he can't see his reflection in the mirror. He has no idea what he looks like. Oh my God. I thought maybe he was zooming towards us, but he zoomed away. Chelsea almost is in the green for her energy. Wow. Honestly, a shocking development. Chelsea, go back to sleep. I need you at your best. You've got night watch. Okay. Mason's taking night shift and he's crushing it. Bye. Thanks for hanging out. Pregnant Judith Volkov knee ward. Okay. Roy is finally going to sleep. Rebecca's doing her homework like a queen. So are we being haunted again? Where's my ghost? My ghost is with the mostest. All right, my boy, my night shift is going to sleep. Oh, there it is. He's watching TV. Okay, we'll have fun. Go off, Johnny. And all my Sims had an awful holiday. I thought I had tried, man. And now we have a bunch of gnomes, which I'm going to clear out of my house. Thank you. All right, everybody's asleep, but Rebecca, who's finishing up her homework. There she goes. Homework complete. Go off, queen. Oh, she's watching Johnny Zest. Is Johnny Zest your father? I always forget whose father is who. Yep, Johnny Zest is her father. All right, why don't you like have some, I don't know, bonding. Brody's upset as usual, but Chelsea is up and she's ready to rock and roll. Louie needs some food. After you've done, Chelsea, can you go feed Louie, please? Thank you. Okay, Johnny. Johnny's mad. We hardly have a relationship with our ghost Johnny at this point, which I'm not mad about entirely, to be honest. I, I don't really like Johnny that much. Oh my gosh. Johnny just went into my bedroom to sob in my bed. I don't think Johnny's over the breakup. Oh, Rebecca and Sienna are jokesters. That's cute. I love that. Actually, Sienna and Sasha both only need potty and then they'll be aged up. So Chelsea, unfortunately for you, we got to just potty train like one of the twins. We'll go with Sasha. Oh no, it looks like Huey is up and Huey needs a bath. Okay, one of you boys need to come up and help. No, the twins are aging up. The twins are aging up. Luna's calm and Brody is intense. Great, I love that. So excited, so excited. You have no idea how excited I am to have two more infants. I'm just, I'm just really excited about it. It's so exciting. Poor Mason, just doing the most that he can for these kids. What a king. Chelsea, why don't you potty train Sienna now too? This is like the hack that some of you say, like you can just exit out and have the adult keep going and the child will keep pottying. I don't know if that works in my game because every time I do that, the child just pops off, but maybe she was done. Maybe that was like bad timing. Oh my God, they're all awake. Ah! Brody is also needing food. Please feed me, Morgan. Feed Brody, help out. Huey is doing great. Louie is also great. Love this for them. Mason's just sad about the holiday, but otherwise he's good. All right, can you tummy time with my Todd, please? Okay, you need to be put to bed. Can I get be put to bed, please, Morgan? Thank you, Morgan. Thank you. Morgan, go get some food, I guess. Oh, wow, there's a lot going on over here. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. I got very overstimulated 
and luckily Roy came in to save the day and he's in PE class. Roy's PE class gets to run laps, lots of them to build their stamina and lung capacity. He's mostly through the first lap when he notices the gap under the bleachers. Is he going to finish his laps? Uh, yes, he's Roy. Oh, another standardized test. Rebecca's almost done when she realizes she skipped a bubble near the top. All her answers are one off. She starts to tell the teacher, but realizes she'll have to take it again. I think she would confess the mistake. She's a good girl. Oh, he gained some performance and Rebecca feared the teacher scolds her for her carelessness and makes her take the comeback at recess to take the test again. Angry Rebecca fills in a pretty pattern, not even looking at the questions. Oh no, Rebecca. Okay, I need, which child needed Lucas? Lucas needed potty training. Okay, Morgan, you gotta potty train Lucas, please. Thank you. Did we at all give Huey any gross motor skills, please? Sienna, you're okay. You don't need anything. Why don't you just work on your skill? Potty being the main one. Oh my God, these are all broken. Sorry, they're all broken, Sims, but I fixed it, so it's fine. The two brothers are potty training the children, which is good. Good job, kids. And Sasha, why don't you go watch, okay? Kind of get your potty training skill up as well. Huey, yes, yeah, second gross motor. Good job, Huey. And look who is here. It's Jonathan. Couldn't stay away. Worked on a toe in the mouth. Good job, Louie. That's three fine motor skills for Louie. Chelsea, can you please do some tummy time with Louie? Lucas acquired the potty skill. Good job, Lucas. I thought you already could potty. Okay, Sienna needs some fun. Why don't you play with a toy? Sasha, you could try to potty. You could get potty help from your brother. And Sasha's now level two. Yes, okay, so all three of the toddlers are level two. We just need to get to them to the level three. We're crushing that. Oh my gosh, my kids are at school. When did my kids go to school? Wait, Louie was already in PE class. Oh my gosh. How come I did not notice they were had been at school until just now? And also, why is one of my children nude running around? What Ellie's calling. Hey, Mason, Dave Groban asked me out on a date. Should I say yes? Isn't that one of your siblings' dad? Eh. <laughs> No, I think you should think about it yourself. I'm not gonna aid you on that. Okay, Sasha's feeling better because she's getting quality time with mom. My kids are back. Roy still has a C and Rebecca also has a C. What? Kids? What do you mean? All right, that's fine. You guys enjoy your weekend. Lucas is learning potty training. I think he's almost to level two. Yeah, so he's almost matched up with his sisters. Good job, King. Let's get one more time of potty help just so you can go potty on your own. I know that was traumatizing. Oh, you brought home a another little drawing. I'm so excited that at some point our whole house will just be decor of the children's drawings. Sweet, sweet Lucas. Why are you still pantless? Why is he still naked? I don't know, but it is kind of funny. Mason is uncomfortable because he doesn't think he did a very good job with potty training. He is just a teen, so, you know, I don't really blame him. It's all good. Or no, he's an adult now. <laughs> have done better. I don't know. It's all fine though. Jonathan and Peachishme says, let's go to the spice festival, buddy. Bring some friends along. Well, maybe we will and we'll bring mom and the boys can hang out and mom can see if there's anyone to seduce for our next victim. I mean, partner. Just slipped out. That's crazy. Great, we're here. Oh, I forgot it's like a karaoke place. That's so funny. Chelsea, you're hungry. You are at a spice festival, my darling. So this is like kind of the perfect place to be hungry. You could do a little spice spicy challenge, or you could sidle up to Akira Kibo, who I'm pretty sure is single, although not one of your guys' sims. But let's uh, go uh, chat our way over here. I feel like you look really good making that uh, baked potato. All right, so we're flirting it up with Akira. He seems to be picking up what we're putting down. Are you trying this out, girl? Sample the food. Have little bites of everything, you know? Jonathan and Morgan just became good friends. Good, I'm glad they're hanging out. That makes me happy that they're having a good time. Chelsea's having a good time sampling the foods and sampling the baby partners. We are going to keep romancing Akira Kibo. It is an awkward encounter, maybe because the bartender's here. Oh, is he like married or? Oh, he is married. Sorry, I didn't realize you were married. Dude, that wasn't my fault. Oh, Morgan and Jonathan are jokesters. Cute, look at that bonding over there. Why don't you two go grab like a serving together? Chelsea is gonna grab a serving of her own. I think she's doing the sushi. I'm assuming it is, you know, vegan sushi since she is pregnant. Oh, she's feeling a little embarrassed because she doesn't know how to use chopsticks. That's okay, Chelsea. Everyone's got to start from somewhere. It's all good, girl. I wonder if I could invite anyone over. Chelsea, do you know anyone else? Gerald over Riviera, maybe? Marcus, Marcus from Detroit Become Human. All right, let's invite Marcus over. Marcus, come on down. How are the boys doing? Did you guys never come get food? You guys are hungry. 
nigiri no i guess they did at some point they're still hanging chelsea's learned how to make nigiri so far chelsea's discovered two of 27 recipes where is marcus from to become human though i'm just saying where is he he's not here what do you mean i mean we could invite our vlad but vlad has like no why are they good compatible Come on, Marcus. Come on over, buddy. What are you doing? He says he'll be right over. Marcus, appear. Oh my gosh, he just is not showing up. Okay, well, we've asked him multiple times and he has said no, so I am offended. Let's all sit together at this bubble blower. I guess we'll have to have quality family time instead of seduction time. Or I should invite over someone else. We're gonna just invite whoever shows up is who I'm gonna hook up with next. So next up is Kiyoshi. And if Kiyoshi doesn't show up, we are inviting over Vlad. If Vlad doesn't show up, I don't know. Okay, I don't think anyone's coming. Where's Marcus? Don't you hate it when you just want your sim to become friends romantically with new sims? Now the sims show up after saying multiple times, oh, I'm coming over. Yeah, are you coming over? Are you? Anyway, Chelsea's trying bubbles for the first time while pregnant. I hope that's okay. All right, Vlad is our last hope. Most of them spawn right here, so that's why I've been keeping an eye out. Even Molly Prescott showed up, but like the sims I invite over don't show up. That's suspicious. Well, at least my sons are bonding, which was, I guess, the point of this, but none of those sims showed up. Where are they? Hmm? Where are you guys? I'm gonna do something desperate. You know how like you've had a couple drinks, which Chelsea has. You try to invite people over and then they don't come over. They don't hang out. You know what you gotta do? Sometimes you gotta just show up at a man's house uninvited. I've never actually done this, but, but it just feels like the Chelsea thing to do. You know, like after a couple drinks, she's like, you know what? No one's showing up for me. I'll show up at your house. Say no to me then. But because of the couple drinks, she's gonna make the worst decision. And she's gonna go to Vlad's house. Chelsea going back to Laddie Daddy, trying to give him a nice kiss. Yep, re-sparking the flame here. Mostly because it would give us double the kiss. So we should be doing this. Like he has several beds in his house that he's not even using because he's a vampire. Yeah, they're having a suggestive conversation. An amorous exchange, as it were. He's flattered. They had no romance, and this is only like after a couple things. He just must not get out a lot, okay? She's like, hey, those that nose is really doing something for me. Okay. I like the way it's so bold, like you. We don't want to ask him to be our boyfriend. We just want to thoroughly, thoroughly romance until he wants to woo us. We're gonna caress his cheek. We're just gonna keep the romance going for Vlad. She just dipped him, but honestly, he looks like he weighs nothing. So I feel like it would be very easy to do. Stroke that cheek. It must be ice cold, baby. As cold as ice. It's a good song. Wow, they almost have max romance. How come I cannot woohoo him? Like, what's that about? I need to like friend him, I guess. Oh no, it says woohoo and shower. Perfect. Okay, the woohoo is an option. We've done our duty, honestly. Chelsea, you can go to bed. Go to the extra bedroom, the purple one. She's like, I'm a mother of 25, 27. Oh, she just passed out. She's a mother of, please hold. One, two, three, four. One hour later. 27. Oh my God. With at least two on the way. We're gonna be between 29 and 30 by the end of this episode. Incredible work. Oh God. Vlad's like, let me entertain you while you stay here. I'm like, Vlad, are those ghosts? Like what is coming out of your organ? I am afraid. I don't think organs are supposed to do that. She went to sleep and he's just sitting and twitching. Do you not do anything, man? Is this all you do all day? No wonder that you like fall hard for the first woman to walk through the door and tell you to have a great nose. You know what? I used to hate Vlad. Now I kind of just feel bad for the guy. Chelsea had a fantastic night's sleep. Oh my God, look at her. Am I nervous about going home to all those children? I left them in good condition. So like, you know, if their needs are bad, that's not my fault. Oh, and Vlad, uh, we'll be seeing you, you know. Make sure to answer your phone when I call next time. <sighs> Men. Oh my God, Luna. <laughs> Chelsea, quickly, super efficient baby care for Luna. My God, that's so sad. Okay, Luna's dying and so is Brody. Fantastic. Brody is also gonna be taken away any moment here. Louis at least fine. How's Huey? Huey's okay too. Huey's just unhappy. Luckily, we are taking care. Oh my gosh, it's our pregnancy, our third trimester. It's gone by so fast. I've not been paying attention to be honest. Oh my gosh, and why is Lucas still naked? Who's let Lucas run around rampant like this? And hooray! Chelsea is gone into labor. You know, I would love 
love to stay and chat, everybody, but I do have to go have a baby at the hospital. So I'm sorry to all of my children, but you're all fine. You know, I took care of you all while I was back for the few minutes that I was. I made sure that no one was gonna get taken away in my absence because clearly you were just letting the infants be unsupervised. But Tia, it's good to see you. You're a sight for sore eyes. I absolutely love your new hair. And by new hair, I mean the lack of it. I think it's very chic. Oh, it's almost Huey and Louie's birthday. Thank goodness, honestly. I was struggling at aging them up on my own, so that's fine. I'm really close to getting them aged up, but it's all good if they age up on their own. I'm cool with that. And also that the triplets, I think, are very close too. So next episode, we'll definitely get that done. But here we go. We're having... Bo is calling... Bo, I'm in the middle of a delivery, okay? I can't just talk. It's a boy. Let's look at your guys' name suggestions. Oh my God, this one's great. Louis, Liam, Niall, Harry, and Zane. <laughs> Zane is very cute. We'll go Zane. We'll do Zane and Peachishme. And it's a girl. Okay. The comment right below IDK who suggested Zane is Janny. And Janny says new girl names like Jess, Nick, Schmidt, or Winston. Let's do Jess. I don't think I have a Jess and Peachishme yet. So Jess and Zane. They don't quite go together, but unfortunately sometimes they just don't. And that, my friends, brings us up to 29. 29? <laughs> 29? Children, at the end of this episode, congratulations, Chelsea. Oh my gosh. In the next one, we will probably be having at least two more, but they will count as four because they'll be vampires. So we might bump up to 33. Oh my gosh, in the next episode. Here's hoping, or 35 if we have triplets. Either way, it will bring us to a third of the way through this challenge, which is absolutely crazy. We are really getting through this 100 baby challenge and Chelsea, is still a young adult. She's still a whippersmapper. I'm feeling good about this speed run. I think I can do this, guys. I'm kind of impressed with me. But let me know your tips and tricks and of course your baby names in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!